we have a Benin man in the house. Hey, this is good. We have ah. a mm -hmm. Okay. Good evening, sir. You're welcome. Mr. Mr. Saigi. Domo, sir. Let's take our darling. Domo, 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 Daddy, Domo, sir. <laughs> <laughs> Auntie B, hello. <laughs> Let me take my my Zobo drink. You're welcome, sir. What do you have to say? Where are you joining us from, sir? Hello, Mr. Sage. We can hear you. Hello. Hello. Yeah. Where are you joining us from? I'm joining you guys in uh Dallas. Texas. Okay, what do you have to say, sir? Well, I, uh, to be honest with you, I just, I just joined the program, so I have no idea what is what you guys are talking about. I just okay. You, know. you want, to, you want me to give you a, a brief breakdown of what we're talking about? Yes. Okay. So this is Monica. She's my aburo, and she's okay. a. Mini lovely girl really really lovely girl and she's a she went to nigeria to marry her husband and brought him to europe and you know she's telling her about her experience he cheated on her and left her with two children to look after and we are talking about the issues of marrying somebody bringing them here and you know the problems with that and dating thereafter as a single parent okay well from my own experience right I got I got married to my wife back in 2018. You know, I went back home. She's from uh, Aunty, to be precise. Yes, we are very nice people. Okay, so we only dated for six months. You know, to be honest with you, I met her on Facebook. Chineke. You know? Yes. No. So I told her. I said. If we can keep up with this conversation for six months, I'll travel down to Nigeria, get to know you, then we go from there. So after six months, I went back to Nigeria. I got to know the parents. She she came from a good family, like a good background, you know. We have the same upbringing. So I got married to her 2018. She came to the U.S. 2019. I can tell you that she's the best thing that can ever happen to me. You I know? told you. Wow. You met yeah. her on Facebook. After six yeah. months, you went to Nigeria to marry her. Yes. And... Wow. Like, I can tell you. Let's clap for our two women. Let's clap for our two women. I'm telling you. Let's clap for our women. Let's clap for our two women. Yeah. That, she's from my place, so I'm so proud right now. Yes. Okay. I can tell you that ever since we got married, we've never had any quarrel. Like, even after, going, after getting married to her, I was just moving from one step to the other. Like, I was just going higher. Like You were going yeah. higher. She wants you to do that. Brought luck to you, but you cheated well, well, right? It's okay. Yes, yes. I don't, I, don't, I don't play around. I'm a very faithful guy. Like I don't, mm -mm, you know. Are you sure you're a Benin man? You sure you're from Benin? Yeah, they are faithful Benin, Benin men. Grew, My dad was faithful. I'm from I'm Benin, joking. but I grew up in Lagos. <laughs> I was born in Lagos, you know. But I'm just from Benin. Yeah. You know? So I know people. Some people have, you know. Bad experience, Bad experience. Yes. Home, but for me, I can tell you that it worked for me. It might not work for someone else, but yeah. for me, yeah. it worked. Before, because before I traveled to Nigeria, I, you know, I dated some girls here, but I'm a very traditional Nigerian guy. You know, really? Yeah, I don't like all this. Mm -mm. You know, that was why I went back home because I knew what I wanted. And you married a traditional girl? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. When you say you're a traditional man, Mr. Sage, what do you mean by that? Yes, that word traditional. Yeah, because it's very broad. What do you mean? Are you the type of man that don't want your wife to walk? Or are you the type of, type of man that wants your wife to kneel down and greet you? Are you the no. type of man? What do you mean by no. traditional man? What do you mean? Okay, so what I mean by traditional is uh, like in terms of you know, like 
I'm not gonna say Tommy. See, I just want. I mean, she works, you know. I just want respect. Someone I can respect. Someone I can relate to, you know. Yeah. Just that yeah. African stuff. You didn't. You, you know, know partnership. You want someone that will see you as the head of the family. Yeah. You know, okay. respect okay. is a simple car, you know. Yeah, you yeah. respect me, I respect her, you know. Yeah. yeah. So that's good. We we have the best in fact, we have two keys right now. Um wow. you know, when I met her, I was and Mr. Taggy were fast too. Two now, two kids. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> You've been waiting now. I just have to let for my head like geez. <laughs> Monica, why don't you carry your mind go dear? You too spoiled. Not be my fire, let's do more calculations. <laughs> Leave the man alone. You never can blush. Now he's blushing. <laughs> so oh. I, I tell people, like, when you are married, just be loyal to your wife. Especially if you want a peaceful home. You know? If you want a peaceful home, just, you know, my wife, like, there's nothing I'm looking outside that my wife can do to me when when it comes to sex, you know. That's bless she goes God above, bless you. God bless you. God you know? bless you. Yeah. So you are faithful. You are a faithful beneath man. You love and respect your wife. Okay. Yeah. Especially, especially on my job, you know. Are we clapping? You, you meet female. Let's clap. Let's clap. You know? Let's clap. You do housework? Let me ask you. Do you do housework or do you help out with the children, the house? Cleaning, you know, like cooking. Do you do that? Yes, I wish she's here, right? Because I'm at work, you know. I wish she's here. She can attest to what I'm saying. Oh, you know? yeah, yeah. She got yeah, a good one. You know, it's just mm -hmm. about love and respect. And yeah. if you want a peaceful home, that's it, you know. She said, What do you, I mean, whatever, I'm like your wife, I'm like your side chick, I'm like everything to you. So wow. said, okay, what am I looking for outside of my wife? She does everything. Wow. <laughs> you know, so, you know. Mr. Sager, before I let you go, a lot of men say that they will never they have a negative experience of going to Nigeria to marry, but your own is positive. And yeah, your own is even like you went to his Facebook, you met this lady, and yeah. you went to Nigeria to marry her, and it's been positive so far. So, what yeah. advice do you have to give to? fellow men out there who are going to Nigeria or those who marry from here that will make their home so that we avoid all this police, fight, divorce, all these things. What advice do you have for them? Okay. When you meet a girl, you have to know the family background. That's number one. You know, where did this girl, like, who raised her? You know, the home where she grew up from. You got to know everything. The foundation. So you need you to know? do your checks. You need to yeah. check. I did everything. Like I didn't just go to Nigeria because and married her. Me meeting her. I, I met a lot of girls in the US, yeah. But it just doesn't work out. Right. You know. So when I went home, I did my research. You know, I told her you gotta go to Lagos. I stay in Lagos. I said you gotta go to Lagos, spend some time with my uncles. They are they are an elderly folks, you know. So my uncle and the wife, they studied her. They were like, yes, this is, this girl, in fact, if you get married to this girl, you are very lucky. Like, you know. She's a good girl. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. you know? So, like I, like I said, we've never had any quarrel. Like, we, 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 just, we, just, we just understand each other, you know. Wow. wow. Everything has been going smooth. You know, and I tell my friend, even right now when she came, she didn't have nothing. Now she's doing this online business, you know. Why? Because she's like a stay-at-home mom for now, taking yeah. care of the two kids. Yeah. But I can tell you that the business she's, do, she's doing online, she's making tons of money. Wow. You know, yes. She and she's still, submissive. she's still submissive and everything, you know. Yes, maybe one of these days, maybe when I'm at home, she will join me, you know, so that it just so that it doesn't just look as if I'm just blabbing, like she can really attest. So, so how do you yeah. manage her money? How, how do you manage your money? Let me ask you. You said she's making tons of money now. In terms of when she came, you said she didn't have anything, so you were paying all the bills. Now that she's yeah. doing business, she's making money. So how do you navigate that in terms of you know sharing the bills and everything, the money aspect in your marriage? 
Okay, so with her money, I don't really look into her money, but she does support Hi. me. Like, especially when we, like, now we Let's clap back. again. Clap, 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 clap. I make money in the first You are a good man, Mr. Osage. You are a good so, man. Hmm. So, our money is nothing to me. Wow. Well, okay, like, let's say, let's say if she's not working now, right? I'll be the one looking after her fa because she has family back home, her parents and uh, siblings. But she's able to do that. I don't need to worry about, okay, you know, she's doing all that, you know. And right now, we live in a three-bedroom house. Now we're planning to buy a bigger house. You know how much she supported me with? She said, hey, babe, it's time for us to move to the next level. I was like, oh, what do you mean? She said, she said I have $30,000 that I saved up. I was like, oh, wow. Hey, I mean, clap, 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 Yeah, we hardly see, we hardly see any success stories like this on this channel. Ah, so you see we are celebrating you and your wife. Dama, Dama, how would you sister? God will bless her. God will bless God you. God will bless her. Thank yeah. you. Thank she, you so much for, for saying, you don't care about her money. You are not saying, oh, you are making no, money. No, no, no. <laughs> I, make, I make $70 per hour. That just means, wow, so, I mean, you know, you know. Uh, Mr. Osage, you, yet, you understand Bini, right? Yeah, I understand Bini. But okay, I mean, I'm going to say something Bini, like, then I'll say it in English. Okay. Uh -huh. yeah. Yeah, yeah, man. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. You be, you be real, Mr. Osage. We, we appreciate men like you. Look, somebody yes, is telling you, I said she married a better woman. You know the reason why yeah, she married a better woman? Now, because yeah. Mr. Osage is a better man. That's why. Yeah. This is what we always say. It's you that bring out whatever a woman gives you. Exactly. Mr. Osage, yeah. it's because of the way you've treated her. That's why. She's it's not always like that. There are some good men. They will marry women. Who might go deal with her? Yeah, yeah, I've heard similar stories because I not, used to not, not God. They were just they are so mates. So yeah. and so again, men go marry a woman. He go do the one my uncle marry for US. My uncle, eh, oh. if they talk, now say they talk to like Mr. Saki, they suffer they talk. He deal with my uncle, eh? Oh Lord. <laughs> they have, they have, they have my uncle talking, they fear to marry. Yeah, not true. Some good men they marry bad women too. But God can't do for you. Say, Mr. Sage, as he go to Nigeria, I go marry this babe. She, her head correct. She said, come submit. Ah, her head correct. You know, Papa, she can't support her husband. He didn't tell the man, say, let's buy a bigger house. I have $30,000 to come I mean, to my not day. I was surprised. Like, I said, I didn't know that Hi. you were around such. He said, yeah, you know, I've been saving up since last year. I was like, wow. You know, so another thing, as a man, if you're going to mar get married in Nigeria or whatever, just make sure you position yourself very well first. You know, that's why right. you mean financially. Yeah, you have to position no, yeah, yourself. Yeah, yeah, man, you are telling us now that you make money, you don't even need woman's money. You no, I don't need it. No, I don't need it. I used to be a nurse, a registered nurse back in Houston. You know, but I just didn't like, you know, the profession. Okay. Nah, yeah. So, so because we have a lot of stories of women men who like you who go to Nigeria to marry and they will send the wife to nursing school so that the wife will not be making money and they and, and the wife will not be the ones checking bringing more money is always the issue of nurse sending your wife to nursing school is always the problem you live in America you know what I'm saying okay so about that before I marry my wife I ha I have girlfriend they are highly professionals you know but I said it's not about your career I need someone that I can I can bring up, you know, I can that can start from afresh. That is me. You know, I don't need a you know someone that is I mean if you are up there, good, but I need someone that I can bring up. So you don't need somebody's money, you just need somebody that no. you can stand with. Yes, that's what and I mean. TV, there's somebody this there's this great there. advice here from Peace Oluwa yes. Toin. Mm. He said you should you tell Mr. Osage not to allow friends around them too much. Yeah, know some friends bad friends that were yeah, advising corrupt, corrupt no, her mind. Man. No, oh, this is a bad man. No. About that, my wife, she doesn't listen to, she doesn't even have friends. No, it's even you, they are no, saying no. that you should not allow no, friends. No, 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 he said around them. Oh. Uh, 
Okay. Um, okay. Okay. You know, for, for, right. for, men, for men, as you as a man that is very faithful for men, you see some bad friends that just want to spoil your happy home. They will now start introducing you to some kind of crazy side chick, uh, side chick uh -huh. from hell, so that the marriage go to shake. You know now, you know how some men is. So I have men like for... you, Mr. I have them on my job. Like like I told you, especially, especially just putting on this uniform, you get a lot of girls' attention. That's number one. Are you, you know? a policeman? Yeah. Okay. I'm, a, I'm an officer with Dallas Police. I see. You know, you know, you know, you know women will like uniform men. It's, it's like that. Oh, There's this thing. It's, it's a fantasy. fantasy. Oh, hey, there's something mostly mostly be the fire uh, firefighter. Oh, sexy. Police uniform is um the Nigeria police. So Nigeria police uniform is not sexy. Oh. No, not be that one. Not be that one. No, no, no. <laughs> oh, like that Nigeria one, police uniform. <laughs> I always tell girls, hey, look, I'm married. They'll be like, oh wow, I've never seen an honest guy like like you know you the Nigeria know, man. Is is I'm oh, married. I love my wife. Like Auntie B, oh, wow. they talk away. A binima, a doma. I know what I'm saying. You know, say it will be binina, it will be a do. And I know what I'm saying. Our people too much. Let me make a day softer now. But they know like, themselves now. I know it's all of them. But binina boy. Chineke. Not be all of them, but 99.9. Okay, let me just say this. I, I've never been to Bini like that. Like I said, I was born and bred in Lagos. I, Yoruba, I was past, my brother. You are just Yoruba demon. I was past. <laughs> <laughs> Yoruba was past, my brother. You are just who you are. No, it's not yeah. about Lagos. Yeah. Hi, you yeah. Yoruba won't have some, some of them, not be all. Some Yoruba mm -hmm. men say good, you know, but <laughs> they don't mean anything. Say, you know, we appreciate you. Thank you so much, Mr. Osage. You right, know, we, right, need right. Like, we need I beg they teach your friend whether they are around you how to be good husband. Now mm -hmm. men like you want <laughs> once you have been in your like wife, you. your wife will be faithful to you, the home will be going fine, you know, everything will be moving forward, like the kids will be happy, you know, just happy home. That's it. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much. Thank you All for right. joining us. I wish you Thank the very you so much, Mr. Sagan. No, we'll protect you. For that crazy amen, amen. American, I will let no go touch you in Jesus' name. Love amen, Jesus. amen. I think I will grow up and they will see you. You will have amen. grand amen. children in Jesus' name. The Lord will be happy for marriage. We will keep you amen. in peace. Thank you amen. so much, sir. We amen. appreciate you. All right. Take care, sir. Salute so your wife. I will tell her from one hour with you woman to another, say... I said a woman should be, she tries. She knows a woman should be. I'm happy. Okay. I'll tell her right away. So. Tell her, say, I want you want to greet her. Thank you, sir. Have a good evening. Right. Okay, bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Uh, wow. Hi. See how this What man. a story. As yeah. in. Hi. Charlie, this in. one is my belly. But you know, this man eh, is exactly like my sister's husband. The people who make marriage switch me where I say I'm going to marry for 21. Yeah, you can now. My sister Why husband you is you very If I mean, I'm not let you marry at 21. You too it's young. Like quick, she's still quick marry as well. And the so, husband was treating her nice. She defeats okay, yes. Now somebody like that. They got yeah. they got two houses here in Spain and one in the UK. They are progressing. Imagine. Because they plan together. When two people yes, the man, they man eh, they're not a swear for person, say person not get side chick. I foresee I for swear for her. That man, man, eh? OJ, you are right. OJ, Mr. Sage, the OJ, man yeah. is very, very faithful. <laughs> we, we, are like, we don't even know him before, but we are loving him already because he, he does the talk to me. say, I don't care about our money. I don't care about, you know, ah. Hello, Auntie Hello, Big. Greetings to everyone listening. You're welcome. Uh, Mr. Osagi, may God bless you. You have given so many women hopes. Amen. A lot of women who are almost giving up they know that there are still some women, there are still some great men out there who know yeah. their responsibility as, as a man. Not, Believe not me, you, the hand, the, the the hand of God is upon your marriage. Amen. And no Amen. evil will befall you. As Amen. still as Amen. your heart is, you went to Nigeria with good intention to marry your woman. That is why your marriage is progressing and it will keep progressing in Jesus' Amen. name. Amen. Amen. And I, I, I'm happy for that, sister. At least there is a woman out there who is enjoying marriage, who is also doing, taking care of her own responsibility, playing her own part to be a good woman. So it's a good thing. We thank God. Yeah.